All right, I'm getting started on the, the trellis for the uh, dragon fruit. So uh, I went ahead and I burned out, burned some of it here. Uh, I use this the uh, propane tank with this torch. You can get that at uh, Harbor Freight for I think 25 bucks. It's a roof torch, or I don't know what they what kind of torch they call it. I, I I've been owning mine for years because I used to do torch down roofs. But anyway. Uh, so you want to burn it and that actually is like a preservative it preserves it and that, that's what that's what how, that one's burnt now it looks lighter now you know I don't know if I should reburn it again but I'm not gonna burn it now but um, I guess it wears off I don't know this is something new that I, I've learned in the last uh, couple of years um, I've watched the uh, wild wonderful wild wonderful off grid uh, with Josh and Aaron and uh, they they burned all the wood on their house like to preserve it so uh, that's where I seen that learned it from um, so when I cut it I need to burn the, the ends that I cut you know I'm gonna try to burn a little bit more of this and I'm gonna let you see it let you watch it I'm gonna stay kind of back because I don't want no heat on my camera nothing like that you know uh, let's see. And of course, when you touch it, you know, you're going to get black on you. So what they, what they do is uh, if you're going to use it on your house, you, you get a brush and you scrape all that off. And um, then you put a clear coat on it. But I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm just putting it uh, in the ground because I don't want to put no, no kind of chemical on it. I'm putting it in the, in the mud to grow my plants on. So, um, all right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get one of these uh, trellises I have and I'm going to cut it to four feet. And then I'm going to uh, show you how I get my measurements in the inside of this thing. Um, you, you, you know what I'm saying? So um, I'm going to try to try to show you as much as I can. Um, it's just, you know, if I had somebody running a camera, it's a different story, but I don't. So I have to uh, I have to try to set this. And, I'm, I'm you know, in my backyard, I'm in a real, real tight area here. Like I'm trying to, you know, find a a spot to work you know what I mean so so when you make this trellis for the dragon fruit now they say um, 
you make it like four feet high. By the time it grows four feet and it gets to the top, you're supposed to cut it and that uh, at that cut it'll branch off and start uh, growing uh, over the top of this trellis and start hanging over it. and by that time it's at the height and the age it would produce fruit. So that's why they, they tell you to cut it at four feet. So. This is the height. So in reality, what you would do, you would cut your, your, your four by four post, four feet, and you make this separate and you and you just screw this on from the from the top. And this is just a little piece that's that uh, the, the parts of the plant is gonna grow through here and hang over and start hanging over. And that'll go all the way almost down to the to the uh, container and so it producing fruit. So I'm going to do two of them eight inches. Eight. And then I'm going to go 16 and an eighth. That's going to allow me to put my saw blade. I'm going to have two pieces, eight inches. I'm going to have to burn those inside edges. Or not, if not, they will rot fast because this is not treated. This is not treated at all.
nice and warm. Try not to get too much black on me. I don't want to get my camera all messed up. Okay, let me set this out over here and then you can actually uh, maybe watch from this way. Okay. And I can explain. Okay, so what I, what I had done, I had centered, I centered this in the middle of the, of the barrel and I measured from one of these edges to the edge of the barrel. And then I checked it on the other side and I was off an eighth, so that meant, or a sixteenth. That meant, well, I just, I made them eight inches. So eight inches is what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, line it up with that line there, and it's in the bottom, and I'm gonna screw this in. Do this, don't line it up with that other one because it could make a split in the whole two by. I put one upper and then lower so we don't get that happening. Whoop. This way, maybe, and you can see it from the side. I'm gonna do this one. Get two screws. Then this one, you go the opposite way. This way. Okay, so now I need my measurements on the ones coming this way, right? Okay, so I'm gonna set it in the in the uh, I'm gonna set it down in the in the barrel. Okay, now I could probably measure that, subtract off this and that. I'm I, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in there because some people might not be able to read measurements easy or subtract fractions and all that. So. this baby in here and that fits on the bottom perfect too okay now I measured the other two because now these are not going to be in the middle so it's really going to be very hard to uh, get an accurate measurement so from here let's see it on this side I'm going to get right there I can make it like I'll do seven. Let's see if seven's on the other side, then we're pretty good. And more like seven and a half. So I'm gonna make both of them seven and a quarter. Okay, is what I'm gonna do. Seven and a quarter. So I'm gonna cut two of them, seven and a quarter. And then this thing will fit at the bottom of this. This part, uh, pretty much, it's easy. So I'm gonna do seven and a quarter. 
and another seven and a quarter would give me what? Seven seven is fourteen to be to be fourteen and a half. So I'm gonna go fourteen and five eighths. I'm gonna add that eighth. Right, so that should give me seven and a quarter, right? Okay. And again, I'm gonna have to burn the edges on on this, okay? Okay, let me go burn the edges. still going to leave the link to the original uh, video I have when I, I built this and you'll be able to see how, how I made the top and all too. Alright so now okay here we are here This one you're gonna you're gonna butt it here. Okay, something something moves. Let me start doing another hole. And then, so I got one going into the uh, to the timber. The other one I'm going to put into one of the two buys that I made because you, you don't have room to. <sighs> wide enough area to, you know, prevent from splitting the two by four. screws. I'll turn it this way.
Why? Pulled it in a little bit, but that's okay. Don't have to be like really perfect, you know. This is going, this is going to be under the ground or under the, all the mud and everything. All right, so let me set you up over here, and uh, let me see. Let me uh, set the camera up about right there. Pull this over a little bit here and maybe we can see a little bit in there and you can see how it fits in there and it should just pretty much fall right in the center of it and it stands up on its own now because it could be a little top heavy, what I do is I, I, buy, I put a bag of rocks at the bottom of each one when I do this. So I bought the pond pebble rocks. That look seems heavier, but I'm, I'm into like uh, wanting to try to help my mud from not coming out every time you water it, you know, to fill it with the water, you know, it turns uh, watery mud comes out um, and, you, and you lose mud. So uh, for years I've been using this this fabric paper and uh, I believe it helps yeah it's an added expense but I really believe it helps keep the mud in because I, I, I feel like I lose less mud you still lose mud okay but I feel like I lose less so I'm, I'm pretty much made it the size of the top I made, I made this the width of this top because the way I'm going to do this it's going to have a seam in it, you know what I mean? You can't do it without having a seam. Oh, I could take this and and actually which I'll do, I'll do this just for the sake of camera This will help hold in some of the mud. Even though mud will get out around the ends, it's going to still help hold in a lot of the mud. get a little bit more because it will settle you know you know how that is guys it will settle get over the worms in 
my compost. It's crazy. See, here's one there. Pushing them down in there. There's one, two, two of them there. They in here. Worms. Look at a worm right there. Look, another worm. Look, there's more. Look, look at the worms. Crazy. That's some compost there, baby. Look, more. Every scoop. It's got worms. Look at that. Worms there. Three, four, five worms in that handful. <laughs> Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm liking that. It's gonna be awkward to move. I promise you that. And that's why you need to have a place picked out for it and pretty much try to build it close to the place. I didn't do that because I just don't have the room to do it to make a video. You know what I mean? So this is what we're going to do. I'll be able to move it. I'll move it. That ain't no problem. It's a little crooked. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and I'll get me a, a, a dragon fruit. Let me get one. And uh, let's plant it in here. Now usually what they do, you know, they use a 4x4 four four post. And they plant one on each side of the post to get four of them come up um, I'm not going to do that right now until I know exactly where I'm going to put this thing because I might have to put it somewhere where uh, I might have a back you know and I don't want to have nothing growing out the back I might have three sides growing instead of four okay here's a dragon fruit look at this look at it I don't know if, let me see if the camera is get out getting on it. They sticky. <laughs> but look at it. It's growing like crazy in the greenhouse. That's why it's almost up to the top of the trellis almost. Um, so let me let me go get a pair of gloves first. Cause uh, this could be hard to fool with. Let me get a couple of things. I need some wire. I'm gonna tie it up. Okay, I found my wire. It was in the uh, was in the in the greenhouse. Okay. So now, this almost looks like this. Uh, this one. This is all it needs. It's this one plant. They got three shoots coming out of it. This one plant can actually. This is a, a, a Jap, uh, Vietnamese white, is what it is. Now I think they're pretty common. Um, I don't have nothing that's you know uh, real exotic. I got co all common stuff. Um, I want to get into it more. get some more exotics learn how to graft it people are grafting they got uh, they got groups that you can get into where people are into the growing these and I think I'm gonna have to lay this thing down because I don't want it to break. You know, it could break. Where's that? It's all coming out of the root. And let me see. I don't know. I don't. I really don't know how big these roots get in the, in the container.
feels like there's a lot of roots. I'm trying to break some of this loose. Some of the mud, you know. I don't shit tell me how big of a hole I need to dig. Things are rooting really good in there, I tell you. side. It does have a, a back, y'all. I don't know if you can notice it. I'll, I'll show it to you. Let me get this in. It has a back. It's flat on one side, and, and, I, and I believe that would be the back. Uh, if I can stay there just a moment, I'll put it. I'll wrap some stuff around it here. So I would probably definitely want to pull it in here. Come around here. Okay. Okay. And I don't think you need to go tight because what's going to happen, you can see on the back side they get these little little roots actually that grow out. And uh I'll start to hang on to the to the board. Now let's see if this piece I cut off would be big enough. I think it is. I'll do one right here. Now what I'll have to do as this one grows, I'll have to take and uh, here's the back end of it here. I'll have to slowly turn it and try to get it. I'll just wait till it grows so I can deal with it. Probably easier to move when it's a little longer. But uh, so there you have that, guys. Ain't that nice? That's a white Vietnamese, I believe. Uh, well, that one is. I don't know if I got two different ones or what. I don't remember. I remember I put a white Vietnamese in there and I marked it. Then I think I had an extra one. I just stuck it in there, and then it's been so long I kind of lost track of. I think this is the white, that big broad one down there. That's the white Vietnamese. So I'm gonna spin this around. So we can tie this one in. So let me get. At least one glove on. I don't know if I put too much mud coming up, if it's going to affect it. I don't know about all that. Like on a, on a regular plant or a tree, if you go too high on it, you'll, you'll kind of suffocate it. Well, I'm not sure about 
this, okay? So we're just going to deal with this. This is almost tall enough already. Now this is some stuff that grew out on this side here, and that's actually the back. See this thing twisted it in a way that maybe I can go ahead and let it catch there. Let me get some. Let me get some uh, wire around it. Hopefully these roots can we do this and then get through here and then Okay. Okay. top I think I'm going to do the bottom first down here this one, then I have to pull that one in. Now, you know, there's ways of, of uh, pruning this stuff. I'm not, again, y'all, I'm not real schooled on this. But all I know right now, it'll be able to stay up and not fall. And as the stuff grows, see like this one here, this, this is going to prevent it. I have to kind of move this up and over so that this will grow up. And, uh, I'll have to tie, eventually tie that up. Now they're going to have the natural tendency to start growing upward toward the sun, you know? I would think, you know? Okay, so there we have it, you, you guys. There's actually two of them in here, and I think that's all that this is going to take. He, he, this is pretty big. One plant I had in the pot there. I'm glad I had it in the size pot because I got some in there that's in a smaller pot. And probably if they were in a bigger pot, they probably would even grow, would have grown more. But uh, there you have it. That's the trellis. And what's going to happen? It's going to grow through here, and then then it, then you let then you let it lap over, and it'll start hanging. And that's when it's going to start producing fruit. So this thing's almost at the age that it would start making some fruit. Once it gets this age and starts coming out, it's usually four feet is at the height when it. I mean, that's what I remember reading up on a hearing a while back when I first got it and I made these trellises. See, I had stuck these in the ground in my, around my yard, and uh, but with the first winter that came, really, it killed them all. So, you, you got to grow them in containers, especially if you're in the south. So, when the winter comes, you, you can bring them, put them in the greenhouse. I've had these in the greenhouse all winter. And, uh... They did great, as you can see. I have more in there. So, but this is going to be it for today for this video. You guys, I want to kind of show you this. 
um, I think I think this is the beginning of of the growing dragon fruit I've been having it but I just haven't really pressed into it and talked about it and, and even learned more about it so this is like a major step for me you guys that um, I, I made this and uh, so I got to find a place I want to put this uh, definitely a place that's going to get uh, major sun uh, most of the day see right now it's it's late it's getting late it's like it's like uh, it's really not late because we're still gonna have daylight for two hours but the sun's going down behind my house so now everything back here is getting shaded but everything up here still gets sunlight because you can see so I, I was I'd like to set it up over here somewhere and so man, the wind's blowing my trees over and I might, I was thinking about, you know, back here, growing some, uh, some squash. But I think I might put that, I might, I might put that thing right there. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move some trees out the way. And I'm going to move, I'm going to put that, uh, that thing right there. And, uh, before I sign off for tonight, I'll give you, uh, when I go to sign out, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, give you a shot of it, show it, show you it's all set up back there. And um, this is exciting uh, to have this done, it really is. And uh, I'm gonna take some pictures. I got some people to, I gotta send it to that are into dragon fruit and uh, let, let them see it. So, uh, this is this is great, guys. All right, I'll, I'll show you the update. It's gonna be won't, won't be long. See you in a few minutes. Okay, guys, that's where I got it now. Yeah. I got a lemon tree right here. Got that, and I got a banana tree. So it's it's tight. It's it, it, it didn't think I didn't think it was going to be that tight when, the way it looked before, but uh, it is now. I can move it back. Um, I will if I need to. I'm gonna leave it like it is. I'm gonna leave it like it is because I have I'm having some thoughts because I got banana trees in the front. I could pull these up all together and move move this over get it away from here a little bit and and, and have it over there so uh, that's a very good big possibility because um, I got banana trees in the front and I can I could I can even sell those two right there um, but anyway that, that's the thought I had so today guys I got I got the uh, dragon fruit trellis in the in the uh, container and I got it tied up and I got a I know I have a a, a, a a Japanese white and I think I just have a regular purple one uh, on the other side and really that's all I'm gonna need on that one that's that's gonna that's gonna grow and probably overtake that pretty good uh, just by the way it's growing now I can tell um, I have more okay so uh, I am gonna work on I got two more trellises I got two more containers to match that one and I have uh, actually I have one two three four I actually have four more plants in here so I could I could put put two on each one and, and that's probably what I'll do so uh, I just Need, I need to start thinking now where I'm going to put them because placement is going to be very important with them because they need to be in uh, well I say total sunlight because I, that's what I was thinking but you know what's amazing was I had one I had a trellis over here and I had one growing there then I had two three in the front yard and the three in the front yard would get that killer sun man and uh they didn't do that good this one here would start getting uh shaded because now it's in the fall back closer to the house two o'clock it's it's in the shade and it would get this morning sun from the, from behind this way and it would get the uh the the noon till two o'clock sun and then it would be in the shade and that's this thing 
was the, the biggest one I had. It, it grew, it was tall, it was, it was doing the best out of all of them, and it was getting the less sun. So now I just remembered that. So may, maybe, maybe that's not where I want to place that. So I, I'm going to think about it tonight. I might be moving that. I sure, I sure might be moving that. So, um, I could do all kind of things. I could, you know, I got trees here. I can try to find a place to rearrange these, and I could set, set them up right here. That would look nice to have the dragon fruit right here. Um, but then I still got what one, two, three, four, four trees in this one. Now, if this big, if my big guava tree, it's it's getting uh, buds on it. If it comes out good, this one I'll probably want the, the, the this one here that was an uh, air layer off of it. I'll probably sell that uh, probably soon. Once I, once I see that it's going to survive and that it's all doing good. Because up here I was wondering, but I'm seeing stuff starting to break out up there. So that's good. And all on here, I'm seeing stuff. Um, I might have to cut some of this off. That might be dead up there. I don't know. I don't see nothing on, uh, nothing on that. I see stuff coming out up there, the tips of that one, on that one. So uh, here, here, the stuff coming out. So um, it's a little bigger tree. Maybe it's just taking longer for it to to pop. According to this one, this is a smaller tree. So um, and this was actually a branch off of that one that I uh, air layered. Yeah. So. So I'll sell that if this one pops, and then uh, I can put probably uh, all three of the dragon fruit right here, and I'll just have to move three, these three trees. So that wouldn't be much to try to find a place to put the three trees, because right now I got to find a place to put three um, dragon fruit, right? So I could just just think about it some more. That's what I need to do. So, uh, no big deal. I'll begin to think about it some more. Maybe even start doing some a little more research. And find out if I'm right. If too much direct sun uh, hurts it. Because that was the experience I had. Now that I remember, I had forgotten about it till just now. So, alright. So, I got that done today, guys. You know. During all the videos, I'll show you updates on the uh, the dragon fruit and what's going on, and uh, and even after I put the other two uh, trellises together, I'll let you uh, you know I'll show you all that and and the placement of where I'm gonna put all that. So, all right, guys, I'm just uh, blessed that I was able to do that today, and for you guys to hang out with me while I did it, and I hope I I can do this video good for you. I hope I can edit it and you can see everything good enough. Uh, so anyway, you guys be blessed, okay? And I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye.